Hey, what's up? So I want to do another video on um, the other pickup that I made for Record Store Day, Black Friday edition 2015, which is this, which is the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones Live from the Middle East 2LP record set. Um, first time on LP, first time on vinyl. Pretty cool stuff. Um, I know that the title of this video will say Unboxing. Um, but it is already unwrapped. There was nothing on this shrink wrap. The shrink wrap, the shrink wrap was completely blank. No stickers, no nothing. Okay. Didn't have a record store day sticker. Didn't have anything. Okay. It was just plain shrink wrap. No nothing. Um, here I have the CD cover so you can see this has never been released on vinyl before. The only difference between the two covers is a little bit of the um, uh, the green color. The tint is a little different. Um, and this is also pretty old, so uh, maybe on a new one it might be a little bit more bright uh, green. But um, yeah, really cool, uh, really cool cover. And um, this has a, um, I guess they would call it a. Um, uh, like a nice hue. It's not glossy. It's kind of a matte, um, but uh, nice, smooth, soft feel. There's the spine. Um, Mighty Mighty Boss Tones live from the Middle East, and it's ASB110 is the number. Here's the back, similar to the back of the uh, CD. And then we open her up. And it is a nice heavy gatefold. And that's what the inside of the gatefold looks like. Okay. Um, very reminiscent of the booklet for the CD, which I'll compare in a second. Let's take a look at the LPs themselves. Plain white inner sleeve. And the label for the A side is meant to look like the C version with the dog Christmas dog uh, with the side A and then side B is the asbestos record label logo and the actual vinyl itself is a dark blue very cool I haven't played it yet, can't say how it sounds yet, but the LP itself looks very nice. Good weight. Okay, so that's the A and B. And then C and D is the same. Plain white sleeve dog for the side C and the asbestos records label for side D on a dark blue. The only thing I'm noticing about these records is um, you can tell that the actual music is from here to here which I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there that are way more um, knowledgeable than I am about how the record is actually pressed and the music is actually put onto this piece of vinyl. Um, but in my opinion, from what I've noticed over the years, is when you have something that's been kind of, uh, I don't want to say jammed, uh, but when you have something where you know there's this much information uh, on this much space and there's that much blank space you have more chances of the needle skipping and the needle not being able to follow these grooves um, so I don't know maybe someone out there can explain to me um, you know when the album is actually when the music is actually pressed on uh, is that something that is this a cheaper way to do it rather than taking up more room? I, I don't know. I don't know the actual physical 
you know, manufacturing steps or anything like that. But that is something I've noticed about both of these actual records. So, again, can't say how it sounds because I haven't played it yet, but it looks cool. And that's what it looks like. Now, the other thing that I've noticed, and this is nitpicky, but if you're going to make dorky videos, you might as well get serious about it. Um, like I said, this is reminiscent of the booklet for the original CD version, which is right here. Now, you can see, I open up the front that these posters, show posters that are on here, are the same as the CD. So basically all four of the show posters that are shown on the CD booklet are on here. Okay, and then we flip it over and basically we get the same thing. Um, this cool panoramic of the Middle East outside Fenway Park um, and the little Boss Tones uh, devil i'm not sure what his uh what his name is um if you know what it is uh drop a comment um but the one thing i did notice uh is when i was reading this um version of the liner notes on the lp um they have a couple of uh errors um it's uh one of those things where it's like damn didn't anybody proofread this um <laughs> And it's, uh, like I said, it's nitpicky and it's dorky or whatever, but it, it, when you read this, you can't help but notice. Um, there is a space here where it's he's explaining that the uh, uh, the first time they did the throwdown, he says the last night was accidentally oversold and period, overcrowded, S dash. Um, we played an all ages matinee the next day. So basically, this is supposed to say oversold and overcrowded, so... Which you'll see on here is what it's, uh, what it actually is supposed to say. Um, so somebody fucked that up, which is kind of disappointing that someone couldn't even take the time to make sure that these liner notes were, were copied over correctly. I mean, if you're gonna take the same liner notes from the the CD and put them on to a brand new LP, you know, get it right. And there's another part here, um, where. <laughs> he says, uh, consider ourselves a live band, a touring band. People have often asked for a live record. Um, something, which is S-O-M-E-T-H-T-N-G. Uh, um, I don't know. Maybe that's just me uh, not being able to see that with my uh, terrible eyesight. But that looks like a... Uh, like a mistake right there. And then also, where is it now? Um, um, oh, here it is. I went right past it. Um, asks us for a live record. And instead of saying live, it, says, it just says HVE. So I guess someone was trying to type live. Um, and maybe uh, had some kind of uh, autocorrect uh, something to Hive, even though it doesn't actually say Hive, it just says HVE. So that's a, a fuck up right there, too. <laughs> um, so, anyway, just something I noticed when I just happened to be reading this the other day when I bought it. So, you know, apparently no one had actually went through and proofread this when uh, it was pressed, but, you know, no big deal, whatever. It's nitpicky. It just kind of sucks that, you know, they, they screwed up the, the the liner notes when they made this LP. Um, but yeah, and this is the back of the CD, so basically, again, it's it's just modeled after the, uh, it's just modeled after the CD. Um, but um, for a Boss Tones fan, you know, how can you go wrong? I mean, uh, live from Middle East, um, it's an amazing live album. It really is. It's I know it's not from one complete show. It's basically just a collection of that year's hometown throwdown. Um, but uh, a, a great, great example of uh, live boss tones um, right after the Let's Face It era. Um, so there's a lot of the um, there's a lot of the better songs from Let's Face It 
um, and a mix of their entire career on here. Um, so really cool, really cool stuff. So let me know what your favorite Boss Tones album is. Check out my other Boss Tones video, my, the rest of my Boss Tones collection. Um, and, uh, I'm trying to think if that includes my 45s. I don't think I ever actually made a Boss Tones 45 video, which is, could be a separate, uh, video in and of itself. Um, but yeah, let me know what your favorite, uh, Boss Tones record is. Um, if you've ever been to see a Boss Tones show, if you've been to see a million Boss Tones shows, let me know. And, um, yeah, thanks. Subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, click like. Thanks a lot.